As a collector, you're always looking for the best way to get something delivered to you, whether it be overnight, expedited, next day. But with this new purchase that I just made, they had an option that I've never seen before. K-Bus? <laughs> That makes sense. So stick around and we'll take a look at everything I picked up from Noble Collection UK. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Well, I got my newest shipment from the Noble Collection UK, and I'm super excited to break in and show you guys everything I got. Uh, but before we do that, please, if you haven't by now, uh, subscribe, uh, click that bell notification, and give me a thumbs up, please. I love the, uh, <laughs> the comments from you guys and uh, the likes. Uh, they really help my channel a lot. And then um, beyond that, there's always Instagram. Instagram is a great little resource that uh, I love to post things on daily and I love to share little odds and ends with you guys. I think it's a fun outlet. So uh, without further ado, let's dive right in and today's packaging looks super reinforced and we'll start with this one. Now, here's a collector pro tip for you guys. Um, I did not know this until very recently, but there are actually multiple Noble Collection sites. There's a Noble Collection US, there's a Noble Collection UK, and there's a Noble Collection France. And each one of these uh, particular places has different inventory. And this, again, was brand new to me. I did not know that uh, there was a difference. Um, let's bring out all three of these and get rid of the big box. there. Um, but back to what I was saying. So when you're looking for a particular item, and again, I, I always went to the Noble Collection website. And when I went there and saw that there wasn't uh, an item available or that they no longer carry that item, I just kind of gave up with Noble Collection. I went out there to eBay or Mercari or, you know, some of the other, you know, outlets like Facebook Marketplace. But, but, there are two other Noble Collection places that you can look, and that's where I picked up all of this stuff today. Um, st stuff that's no longer available to in the U.S., but you can get it in the U.K. And now, I know, you're, you're thinking to yourself, why would you buy from the U.K.? You know, do they ship to the United States? No, they do not. So that's when a, a friendly person on Instagram turned me on to a company called Forward to Me. Forward to me is a service that gives you an address in a particular country, and that way you can purchase something off of that site, have it shipped to that address, then once they receive that package, you then turn around and have it forwarded to the United States. Little extra money involved there, but otherwise, how else would you get this stuff? You're going to find it on eBay uh, for much, much more than what you would paying for the shipping to get it over here. So in my opinion, fantastic recommendation, forwardtome.com. Look it up because um, it will open the door to many items that you may want for your collection that you currently can't get your hands on. So let's... Stop talking about that and let's break into one of these and see what we've got because I am extremely eager to, to take a look at all this stuff. Now, I picked up some new stuff that I have been on the fence about for a while, but when I found it available there and at a good price, I figured it was time to, to pull the trigger. So I've got a couple that are, um, in my opinion, must-haves, and a couple that I picked up that are just great additions, you know, but um, I don't consider them must-haves. Now, um, let's see which one this is. One second here. Yep, that's enough. And, oh yeah, this is a must-have. I am a huge Mad-Eye Moody fan. Huge Mad-Eye Moody fan. 
And the other must-have to go along with this, which I am currently on the prowl for, is a um, is his walking stick. And that's another very elusive one that used to be sold by uh, by the Noble Collection, no longer available on any of their sites. Uh, but um, I've got a couple different outlets that you can get it for. The, the crazy part is the shipping because it's such a massive staff, you know, his, his walking stick, that, um, that the shipping costs for it are very, very steep. So, um, so I'm still hunting for that one. But this flask, I wish it came with a stand. But thankfully, I've got a couple extra um, little easel stands that I can use. But if you look at this thing, it's absolutely great. I mean, it is... It's a plastic, which is surprising. I honestly thought that it would be uh, more metallic. I mean, because it is a flask. Obviously, it's not a usable flask, but it's a plastic little flask. And then um, you've got the, I believe this opens. Does it flip forward? Uh, here we go. Yeah, it flips forward like that. Oh, okay. I see. You push this little trigger in the back. So there's a little trigger in the back you push that opens up the flask. And... I absolutely love this. I'd love it a little bit more if it was made um, like I was expecting. I was expecting something metallic. This is uh, all plastic. Um, even the parts that look metallic, I don't believe are. I believe they're just, uh, they've got a metallic finish on them. Um, so that's a little disappointing, but at the same time, happy to have this as part of my collection because I love Mad-Eye Moody. So uh, we'll set that. Let's get rid of my styrofoam and let's move these back over here get that over there and we'll set him right there for right now so let's break into I know what this one is so we'll break into this one next now this is one that I had to have when I saw it just because it's such a it's such an evil prop I mean it really is evil um, but what a what an amazing you know dark moment in the, the series um, this particular item creates and let me get it all out here oh it's got two different boxes or maybe it's more than that I don't know okay so let's take a look let's break these apart here in one second guys I don't exactly know oh yeah it is it's two different boxes okay good deal and let's don't want to cut anything but let's carve this one open here all right so let's pull this part out first all right so we've got basically just a little stand here and uh, and that is this is definitely weighty i mean this is metallic um it's a uh, some some sort of metal but it's got some good weight to it kind of more so than than this entire flask which again shocker but um it is what it is and then this one oh, it's got two little ties holding it in place give me one second to untwist these ties so i can get this out for you guys because I know that I'm, I'm kind of being secretive about this, but it's it's one of those things where I want to show it to you before I tell you what it is. I think that should do the trick. Yep, that gets us out. And we have... Oh, let me get that off. We have the evil quill. I mean, you guys remember this quill, the one that Umbridge gives Harry to uh, write his sentences. I will not tell lies, you know, I mean, and, uh, and how it just etched, etched in his hand. I mean, just such a dark scene, a dark moment. I mean, that, that, that series starts off so light, and I mean, even, even the darker parts aren't that dark. But boy, do they get dark quick as soon as Cedric dies, and... Things kind of go downhill from there, but I absolutely love this piece. I mean, it is it is beautiful. I mean, the black feather um, at the end of the quill. I mean, it, this quill definitely looks like it was meant to to just carve something in somebody's hand, even though you know it just writes. It just writes. So, but it goes beautifully on this little stand. I think it goes like that. No, it must go like this. 
Yeah, it has to go like that. There we go. So, so, and that will display beautifully on a shelf. Oh, oh, I gotta scoot this back. You guys can't see it. I got it too far out. So that will display beautifully on a shelf. Looks fantastic. Boy, do I hate styrofoam. We've been over this before. Package it in something else, people. There's other things that can protect this. Um, but this is an amazing piece. I absolutely love this. Um, I actually like that more than I thought I would. I might possibly like it more than the flask, and it's only because of the quality uh, of the pen or of the quill over the, the quality of the flask. So uh, let's get rid of that, and let's break into number three here. And again, all of these are currently unavailable on on the U.S. sites. Um, I've looked at at them. Um, there's a couple things that I'd like. Oh, well, there's more than a couple. I've got quite a, a lengthy list of things I want to pick up from the Noble Collection. Um, but these being no longer available in the U.S., I thought were more of a priority than the U.S. ones since uh, they haven't been discontinued. Um, since the stuff I've got on my wish list uh, for the U.S. haven't been discontinued yet. So, oh yeah. I don't remember what this is. <laughs> I, I almost forgot. So another great piece that I absolutely love. And oh man, this one's got some good weight to it as well. I mean, this is, oh yeah. I love this. So happy that I got this one. So it's the the shell chalice or what, you know, the cup, whatever you want to call it, that double door drinks from in the cave. I mean, this thing is amazing i absolutely love this i mean if you look at this i mean it it looks like i mean obviously it's some kind of a, a resin of some sorts but at the same time i mean just looking at it it looks like crystal and, and shell i mean it looks just like the item in the movies um when when you get to see harry you know, forcing Dumbledore to drink all the all the water. I mean, this is an amazing piece, guys. Super happy with this. So far, I mean, honestly, I am really happy with my with my afterthoughts. I mean, this is what I what drove me to purchase from the UK. And these two items were the afterthoughts. I said, well since I'm getting one thing, I may as well get the other two that are no longer available here. And I'm happier with both of those. I really am. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. The flask is still a great addition, but it feels more like a toy than what I was expecting. I was honestly except, expecting something more, you know, I, I just, I guess, a better quality is what I'm looking for. So now, last but not least, this one did not come from the UK, uh, but it is one that I have had on my, on my want list for quite some time. Now, I've also told you guys before that when you see something on their website, on, on the uh, Noble Collection website, and it says out of stock, you know, we'll be back in stock by this date or whatever, and you hesitate to buy because you don't want to wait that long. This is one of those items that I pulled the trigger on and it got here much faster than what they said. I wasn't supposed to have this until March. And, and it got here the beginning of January. So, I mean, so, I mean, if that doesn't tell you something, don't wait. If there's something you see on their site, there's something that you want, just buy it. Yeah, I mean, just make, pull the trigger, get the, get the item. I mean, at least get in the queue for, for them to ship the item to you. That way you don't have to, um, you know, run the risk of them, them discontinuing the product, you know, and, and half the time that I've made purchases there, it's come a lot faster than what their time frame says. So, and if you guys haven't figured it out by now, Slughorn's Hourglass. I have been wanting to add this one for quite some time. I absolutely love this piece. Um, this is without a doubt, uh, one of those, one of those pieces that, Every time I see it in the background in, on somebody else's channel or in, um, in you know, little Instagram posts, I always kick myself because I want it so bad, so bad. And 
There is such a wide array of pricing out there for, for these. If you go on eBay and on uh, Mercari, I mean, you've got people asking astronomical prices for this thing when you can go to the Noble Collection and get it very affordably. I mean, it's not a bad price at all uh, in, for, for the item that it is. Um, if the quality is what I'm expecting, I mean, you, you're getting this thing for a steal. Um, let me make sure I'm opening it up right. Yes, I am. And Oh, man, it's huge, and it's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Let me carefully pull this thing out. I don't want to damage anything. Boy, they have this thing packed in here really well. I mean, they obviously need to because it's glass. Oh, but, man, is this thing beautiful. That I will not lose. I mean, this is gorgeous, guys. Oh, the green sand as it's running through. I mean, this is an amazing piece, and I am so happy that I picked this up. I mean, the little crystal bodies of the serpents that, that fade into the metallic of their tails and heads. I mean, I love this. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. If you don't have this, go to the Noble Collection right now. I mean, seriously, go right now. Get, I mean, purchase it. Get on the back order. I mean, the wait list, whatever you want to do. You, you got to have this piece because it is every bit a high quality that I was expecting. And don't short yourself with some of the knockoffs that are out there, the smaller versions, the less ornate versions, because this thing is amazing. And... My only concern is I've noticed of lately that my shelves have gotten rearranged. I don't know who's touching things or messing with them. Uh, I would like to leave a, a camera running down here all times just so I could catch the culprit. My only concern is this thing getting knocked over because it is beautiful. And you want to talk about a bad way to start your day, coming down here and finding this thing laying on its side, broken, I mean, would be absolutely heartbreaking because this is beautiful. Guys, this is, this just made my day. Whatever happens after here, I mean, I seriously, I don't think it's going to affect me near as much because I'll be able to look over and just kind of stare at the sands as they, sands through the hourglass, you know? I mean, so these are the days of my Harry Potter life, so I I'm super happy, super happy, guys, with uh, with these purchases. I cannot tell you enough how amazing the Noble Collection is. Uh, they've got some great things, and I am very happy that I've picked up these. There are still so many that I want. I really want to get a Dumbledore's cup so I can put it right over there with Dumbledore. And I mean, and, and there's, I mean, brooms. I mean, there, there's so many things, so many things and so little money, you know, so I'm working on that. That's a, all a, a work in progress. Um, I'm actually uh, probably going to, I've, I've been on the fence. I've been really kicking it around, trying to decide which route to go. I think that I am actually going to pick up the Firebolt Broom from Cine Replicas. So Noble Collections, uh, I mean, makes a fantastic looking broom, don't get me wrong, but Cine Replicas, I mean, the fact that it's, I mean, it's actually carved from real wood. The bristles are all real sticks. I mean, it looks amazing, it, it really does. And I've been on the fence, I've been asking people their opinions. Um, I mean, the only thing I don't like about the uh, about the version from uh, Noble Collection is the the, the bristles, um, how they kind of transition into this plastic kind of real cheap looking piece that goes around the actual handle. The handle is stunning, absolutely beautiful. I think it might be um, better than the Center Replicas one, but as a whole, I think the Center Replicas broom for the Firebolt looks amazing. And that's probably where I'm going to go. I'm working, working on getting that, um, you know, pushed through the approval process. <laughs> but um, we're, uh, so it's a, it's a work in progress, but it is coming. So um, guys, this is, this is it. This was a great day. Super, super happy with, uh, with this. And I've got a couple friends 
Um, and, and I call you friends because you're here each and every episode. You guys comment below. You, I mean, you you really enjoy what, what I put out, and I enjoy the comments that you put below. And I know that one of those friends recently made a trip to the um, Harry Potter exhibition down in Atlanta, and you got a haul. You told me you got a haul, and I would love for you to share that haul with me because I would, uh, I'm super jealous that I haven't made it to the exhibition yet, and that's definitely on my hit list for 2023 along with Harry Potter New York. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to make it to both this year or hopefully just one, so uh, we'll see how the year goes, but I'm going to have to slow down the the uh, additions to the collection if I want to have enough money to make it there. So, But... I want to thank all of you, all of you for joining me here today. I know that um, this uh, these videos can sometimes, um, I mean, kind of ramble on because I get so excited. I mean, especially a day like today. But I really do enjoy sharing uh, my collection with you guys and, and sharing the magic. And until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.